guys, so for this week's experiment, I'm going to be demonstrating the concept of uh, heat capacity of uh, water and uh, along with just a transfer of heat and um, how, <coughs> how uh, it may demonstrate conductivity and yeah, so we're going to do that with um, some balloons and some fire. Uh, so uh, the design of the experiment is uh, quite simple. So first I'm going to uh, blow up the first balloon with some air, light on the fire, and then for the second design, um, I'm going to fill some water uh, in the balloon. And after the, some water is in the balloon, I'm gonna uh, blow some air into it. And then I'm also gonna light that on the fire. And uh, we're gonna just uh, make observations for each and, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so first we're gonna do the balloon um, just with some air. So here I have the balloon and I'm, uh, I'm gonna blow it up and uh, I'm gonna light it on fire and then let's see what happens. Um, okay, so my hypothesis is that um, when I light it on fire, it's gonna it's gonna blow up, and I'm not really looking forward to the sound. And but here we go. Yep, I was not looking forward to that at all. But uh, as you can see, there's some. The balloon has ruptured, and uh, there's some burning rubber in the air, but it's, it's popped. Here I have the second uh, balloon. Um, I filled it up with some water. Uh, you can't really see, but it's you know the balloon isn't transparent. But um, yeah, there's some there's some water up, up, up around here, and uh, let's let's see what happens when we uh, try lighting this with uh, fire. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so let's break it down. So, what happens with the first balloon? Um, when we first fill the f first balloon with air, uh, it's, we observe that uh, the fire bursts it. So, well, why did this happen? Because the rubber of the balloon, without the water, it becomes hot, and uh, to the point where the rubber isn't a good conductor of heat, and it becomes too weak to resist the pressure of the air inside the balloon. Now. With the second balloon, we observe that the presence of the water uh, prevents the balloon from popping. As you know, when I was, as you guys saw, when I had the flame on the balloon, it it it, it was unfazed. So, why did this happen? Now, this is because water has a high heat capacity, and it uh, allows the heat from the flame to be absorbed by the water, and thus the balloon doesn't pop. So in conclusion, essentially the comparison between the result of the balloon popping without water um, and with uh, demonstrates that water it has a higher heat capacity than the air in the balloon. Um, since the water is able to resist being burned by absorbing the heat, it demonstrates the unique property of water, uh, specifically the high heat capacity and also the specific heat of water as compared to that of air. And with the balloons and some fire, we are able to observe and also grasp the concept of heat transfer and heat capacity.